Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm uh, going to be uh, actually doing a couple double duty uh, pieces here. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to begin cutting out the uh, electronics carrier for the uh, laser cutter engraver that we're building. Plus also, one of the things I want to demonstrate is what I'm going to be using is actually um, a piece of polystyrene. Now I've been fighting with this stuff for years. One of the things is the uh, it, it's a eighth inch thick polystyrene. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I've, I, I bought a bunch of this quite a while back, actually many years ago, and I've been fighting it with it many years. Uh, one of the reasons I bought it is, is it's relatively rigid and it's uh, very cheap in comparison to acrylic. Uh, however, being polystyrene, it is a bit like, uh, you know, the egg crates, except there's not as much air mixed in with it. Uh, so the problem is, is when you cut it with the CNC, it wants to melt very easily and not really cut. So, again, I haven't messed with it for a while, but I have it laying around. I don't have to buy it. Um... So I wanted to go back and, and try it again with the, with the CNC. So one of the things I've done is I've ha I have a speed controller for the CNC, so to control the spindle. I've got a porter cable spindle. I've got this, um, uh, it wasn't very much money. I can't remember what it was. I bought it a few years back, actually probably about five years ago. Uh, router speed control. And uh, so th there's really no RPM, and it's just really by, you know, sound that, that I kind of adjusted up or down. So I played with this for a while, so I wanted to do a video with it. Uh, the other thing I did is I went to eBay, and I've got, I'm going to be using a, a 1 8 inch 2 flute um, milling bit, you know, just blunt end mill on, on, in, the, in the porter cable here that's supposed to be designed for plastic. Now one of the, the big things is is actually probably ideally for this would be a one flute rather than even a two flute but I could get the two flute a lot cheaper so uh, that's the route I went. Uh, so I got a package of like ten for thirteen dollars so under a dollar a piece for the uh, the bits. Uh, so the key to cutting any type of plastic is to move quickly so it doesn't melt uh, use as few flutes as possible to uh, again reduce the melting because what you want to do is you want to cut the material not melt the material and this is always the problem with with dealing with plastics and we're also going to go with a fast feed rate I think something like a hundred um, uh, hundred inches per minute is what I've got this set for so it should actually whip through this pretty fast now the other piece that I'm trying that's a little bit different this round is this is only an eighth inch piece of material it's polystyrene it's soft uh, again what I tried doing in the past is plowing through it like two passes this time I'm going to use four passes to cut through this material at a very fast rate at a relatively slow speed with a low number of, of flutes so in the past I've tried it with like a four flute uh, cutter so uh, we'll see how it goes so anyways I'm gonna go ahead get this all set up pretty much it is I'm gonna launch it I'm gonna um, you know jump this to time lapse so you don't have to watch the whole thing and we'll see how it turns out you're gonna see as, <laughs> as well as I do this is sort of a live experiment uh, to see how this turns out so we'll see how it goes see you on the other side
Welcome back. Um, if you were astute in the first part of the video, you noticed that uh, some stuff has changed here. So, uh, went through, did the first one, uh, and actually did not was not happy with the results. Uh, part of it is the speed at which I was running the two flute cutter. Uh, I think was a little bit too slow, and it really, I don't, you probably can't see it in the video, but um, if I can get it closer here, it, it really grabbed the material, it shook it, 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 it just did not work well. Uh, there was also some leveling issues, I think, with that, that board over time, The because uh, I haven't used it in a while, the MDF over the summer uh, absorbed some moisture and, and tilted because it didn't, just came short of cutting this piece out. So anyways, I tossed, you know, got all that out of the way because, as, again, I'm really fascinated with getting this to work. So went and uh, pinned it down with some, some Melmine directly to the, the board itself, which, again, I think this, uh, this MDF is not the best stuff because even on the other board, what I had done was I had had the router put a 1 8 inch bed and then milled it all level. So technically, this this should have been level, but, again... And you can see where it's off here because it shook the board so bad it, it moved it, uh, even though it was held in place not only with clamps but with the, with the holding material. So um, that's spare parts. However, what I did is I kicked up the speed a little bit um, on this. And you can see I had it where the, the tape is put. But again, I, th that's when I was experimenting with four flutes. So at two flutes, it's at low medium cutting about a hundred inches uh, per minute and really came out nice um, although again in, in, in the time-lapse video you'll notice some challenges uh, basically um, uh, I, I'm not sure I'm doubting garble crashed or something crashed and, and stopped the PC that I got sending the commands you utilizing no oh, what the heck was they doing Gerbil controller just seemed to finish but the, the, the commands weren't buffered, so I re-ran it again, and one of the reasons I wanted to, to stop and do this, just redo this video, was a little trick, and I think it's, it's worth it, is there's a little indentation right here, so what I always do is, before I start a job, I make a, a mark hole, so what I do is, with the motors turned off, I turn on the spindle, I run it down into the bed, and make a mark you know, small hole in the bed, so I can re-index this to this pr exact position. So again, it got about halfway through, failed. I re-indexed it and then cut it again, and it ran fine the second time. And again, because I had that index position, I could recover it because you know, even if I did it, you know, again, a, a perfect off the corner, and, and you know, maybe if I had a touch plate and I was really particular. Um, I could have done it, but it, that was just a whole lot of work. Here, I just spun it back over here, centered in this hole, ran it down into this hole, uh, brought it back up, set my height, and set it off again, and cut this out perfect. So, uh, again, for this polystyrene, um, again, low medium seems to work. Two flutes, about 100, uh, 100 inches a minute, whips right through it. I did this in four, you know, basically four passes really a clean finish. This is the cleanest finish I've ever seen out of this material. You know, most of the time it's burned, especially if you, like, if you cut it with a table saw or a uh, uh, radial arm saw, it just really messes it up. So again, I, I'm really pleased uh, uh, with the way this came out. So uh, again, hopefully this helps. And uh, again, you'll see this again on the laser cutter. We're going to go over there and mount it on there. Um, and put mount the electronics to this board and again I kind of made it a little handle I don't know uh, I won't use it for a handle but it looks kind of cool so I did it and just because I could so anyways if uh, if you would please click like below really helps us in making these videos because again it shares it out over more of YouTube more people get to see it um, so again it's free it doesn't cost anything to click like I appreciate it just the simple mouse click it really helps us out uh, more than you can imagine in spreading some of the word and what we're doing uh, here in in 3d uh, you know personal fabrication technology because it's really our goal is just to spread the word I'm not asking for you know any money any donations but just that like below really helps us out cheers and see you in the next video